want to talk about something new kind of way for coming back here. Yeah. Speaking about something about having one more year with your sister. I know you guys have a special bond. It's really exciting for you. Um, yeah, I decided to leave TCU and come back to Miami just because I wanted to finish my last year with Hannah. I think that it was something important. I didn't want to regret it regret it in the long term looking back. So um, that was overall, there was a lot of factors that played a role into it and Coach Fitz, um, especially him being back here, drew me back to the University of Miami. Um, but overall, just playing with Hannah and finishing my last year at the University of Miami. Well, now you're under Trisha and how mm -hmm. she's like, practicing you're over here with her. Um, TC's vision and her staff and just her standard that she expects every single day is something that I'm super excited to be part of this season. Um, obviously, this is her first year, but she's a proven, she's a winner, and she's uh, had such successful teams in the past. So I'm excited just to play under her, especially. I think she's going to surprise a lot of people in the ACC. Our team will too um, in this season. Thank you. Thank you. What's kind of stood out to you? Preseason practices. Right. Um, I think that we have a very well balanced team. I think that uh, we have a lot of kids with experience and older veterans that have played um, that will allow us to just click sooner. Obviously, it's all new team, um, and so getting chemistry. This summer was a huge emphasis on Coach TC and her staff, but I just think overall um, everyone wants to win, and the discipline that TC demands every single day is something that stood out to me. Mm -hmm. What kind of impact is that? Right, I think I think having an inside game, um, Nat Marshall and Cam Williams do a great job of setting that presence. And um, having an inside game makes the outside game way easier. I mean, once you have to figure out how to defend the inside, the outside game becomes a lot easier. And that just um, it makes our team harder to scout. So I think um, having them have them having them come in from the transfer portal, having just key players on the inside, will allow us to be very well balanced and overall rounded. Um, I never played with a Post player as demanding no, as Cam it. Williams, so yeah. I'm super excited about it. Yeah, I think that um, Cam does a great job of just setting the tone every single day. Um, she's a vet, and I think that she just is so composed, and a lot of people look to her. So um, she's been a huge key to our success so far, so far in the um, summer and the preseason. I think that she's going to surprise a lot of people. I mean, obviously coming from Michigan, she's super successful there. So getting her was a key attribute to our team, and um, she'll be a key player for us. How's Hannah doing? Um, what are you noticing from her from practices? Right, I think Hannah's doing a great job. She's a more of the floor general, um, understanding TC's vision and running the offense that uh, she's kind of approached to every single person, but I think she's doing a great job of that and just um, being a killer, being disciplined, um, and just setting the tone every single day is something that I've noticed so far. With your game, is there something particular off-season-wise that you want to be better at? Are you really concentrated on that with, with your game? Um, yeah, I think that obviously I just want to be able to work on my uh, separation moves. I think that's something that Coach Fritz and I have done a good job this offseason just to prepare me to how to get my shot off in certain ways and just being a three-way scorer consistently. So um, that's something I really focused on. Um, even last year in my gap year, just every single day, trying to focus on the things I need to do um, to just overall better my game. With separation, do you mean putting the ball or is it off ball stuff? That yeah, just like setting setting um, off ball and on ball when I have the ball, obviously, just creating separation. I'm a smaller guard, so when there's longer guards on me or defending me, how can I get my shot off still when they're taller, um, more physical, more athletic, and just being more smarter in that way? Maybe can you specify the, the workouts that, that, that were designed for that? You talk with Coach Fitz. Yeah. What, what would you kind of do to get to that? How is it kind of translate? Have you noticed improvement there? Yeah, I think that obviously. Um, um, the workouts are just, Coach Fitz did a great job of um, me going versus guys and um, during the offseason just getting our managers and um, our practice players versus me every single day to get more physical and just understand like how can I use my body to benefit me on the court um, and not make it a weakness, my shortness. So I think that uh, in the summer we focused on that a lot and yeah, I've noticed an improvement for sure. Your thoughts on maybe how the second, third, the other players on the team, the freshmen, just how is everybody kind of coming along? Also maybe your message. Yeah, right. I think that um, the freshman coming in, Leah Nay and 
Simone, they're really, they just want to learn their sponges and um, their work ethic from day one. Uh, they're the first ones in the gym as well with all of us. I think that just sets the tone of what they want and what their mindset is. And I think that they will, um, they have done a great job of picking up TC's uh, offense. And I think that they are going to just learn and absorb. And as they get more experience on, as the season goes on, um, they'll play a key role. And your husband, I didn't want to leave her out. Yeah. Your thoughts on her? What are you seeing from her? Yeah, it's been great to play back with Jazz. I think Jazz brings so much experience, and she's so um, she can play the one, she can play the two through the four. So I just think being able to just put her in different spots, she fits the system well because TC can move her around and she can shoot the ball, she can drive it, she can defend the best player. But she's so physical, and I just think her experience from the March Madness tournament and um, just being a key role player in the last two years is something that we need. And um, I'm just excited back to play with her. To your overall excitement. I mean, it's, it's close to mm -hmm. the season. Can you speak on? I know it's. it's yeah, I think that I just miss the game time feeling and the com competitiveness that game spring. Um, I'm really looking forward to the ACC and just um, getting this preseason to just really gel and use our chemistry to build and prepare for when February comes and March Madness comes. Preseason practices, just your overall impressions of the team. What do you notice? In it? Um, right. I think uh, preseason, obviously, we had a whole summer to prepare, so just being able to build that chemistry was really important for us, and I think Coach TC did a great job, obviously, puzzling different pieces. Our team's really talented this year. Um, we have very good, very, very good post players and outside shooters, so it's a really great balance. Let's stay with the post players. Uh, what do you notice from the group, you know, obviously, with Nat and Cam, but just the, the whole group of them? Um, I would say overall the physicality they bring um, and also I think their uh, Nat's ability to pop at the four is also really, really good. So I mean, I think there's just a really big dynamic there that we haven't really seen and um, I think the post play is going to be a very big game changer this season. But with Coach TC, what, what are some points of emphasis uh, that she has and that you know essentially must have to play for, the mm -hmm. things that she really tries to drive home to your team? Right. I think she's a very detailed coach and I think she is, obviously she's won a lot in her career so being able to just pinpoint the details um, and do the little things I think is very important to her and I think our team has dived deep into that and you're going to see that on the court. Uh, I've only been out there a little bit but clearly it doesn't take long to see just how well she communicates or stops practice talking mm -hmm. all, you know always instructing coaching uh, how has that kind of helped um, essentially to get her vision across to everybody to, you know, as a new coach here? Right I think communication is key I think coach TC is, uh, harps on that all the time um, and off the court I think she does a really really good job of understanding like you said seeing her vision seeing how we all puzzle piece together um, and just bringing the whole system obviously here and then bringing the talent into that is something she's done a really good job in a short period of time. How's your game coming along? What are some things you concentrate on in the off season uh, to get ready for this season? Right in the off season, I was uh, very, very big on being able to bring physicality. I think I lacked that the last time I played. So um, Coach Fitz has done that really, really well for me. And then I think being able to just continue to read and react, um, and then continue to uh, increase my mid range game. With the with the physicality, go back to that. Uh, offensively, defensively, where do you feel like you lack or want it to be really or is it just everything? What's something physicality was you wanted to be better? Right, I think on a defensive standpoint, I was definitely not matching my opponent's physicality. So just being able to um, really work on that in the off season is what I was trying to do. And I think I've done a really good job of that. Coach TC, when, when she was talking, just talked about you and your sister just being hard workers, leader, things like that. Can you speak on that being important to you uh, to have those attributes to, to speak up? Yeah, but um, well, I think uh, it's just kind of built in my DNA. Um, my parents have taught me at a young age, like you work for what you want. Um, so how you approach everything truly is how I do it, 100. percent um, And I don't ever want to live with regrets. So that's kind of just how I approach everything, um, continuing on the basketball court and off. And then I think with the leadership, um, obviously stepping into that role this season is very important. Um, we have a standard here. Um, the last taste in our mouth was getting to the March Madness tournament so we want to make sure that we obviously get back to that and being able to put the work uh, to back that as well. And maybe it's a little bit about what you just said but to get to back to that it's a long journey obviously but what, are, what do you feel like is keys so like hey if we do this we'll give us a chance to get there. Uh, you know, again, knowing that it is a long journey, yeah. an easy recipe. Right, I don't think, yeah, like you said, there's no easy recipe, there's no quick fix. I think just taking one game at a time, obviously preseason is going to come up, and um, being able to learn from each game, learn from each opponent um, is something that we're going to try to do. So just trying to take it one game at a time, not look for too uh, much in the future. Thoughts on Haley, uh, kind of things that you noticed from her uh, as she gets ready for another year? Right, I think, uh, obviously, you guys saw Haley's game kind of, 
correlate last season she played, but um, she's one of the hardest workers I know, and you're going to see a different Haley this year for sure. How excited are you for the season? Being a year off, I can imagine what that's like yeah. to get back into the basketball games. Right. Honestly, the transition wasn't too hard. I'm like huge into health and fitness, so I never got out of shape. And I think um, getting your touch back took a second, but uh, after I got that back, I knew right away that it would just click. So, um, but no, I'm super excited for this season. Uh, I can't wait. Truly, the last ride together. So just gonna take it uh, one game at a time and li truly live in the moment. Yep. Thank you.